Hey folks, I'm Joe of Tea Slug and this is Coffee Soul. Today, instead of going to a global coffee franchise, we decided to check out a local brand right here in Hongdae, Korea. It's called Zombie Coffee. Awesome name, right? According to the internet and their home Facebook page, they buy their own beans, they roast and brew them, I think, in their own climate control room. I might be wrong there. But uh, a lot of people there are saying that it tastes so good that it puts other competitors, including franchises, to shame. So today, we're going to check out if their coffee is as good as they say. Follow me. fresh. Mmm, it just went in through your palate and your throat real clean and smooth. And it's really nice and quiet in here. Wow, when's the last time we had a peace of mind like this, Joe? Sure, the venue is a little small, but it's just for us and a select few. It's like a haven in the city. Mmm, two bathrooms. One for ladies, one for gentlemen. Such care for a non-franchise place, Joe. Mm. And the Saturn price? Sure, franchises make you pay that same amount, but God knows what they put in there besides their beans being roasted. Joe, admit it, they earned it. You love it. Okay, it's fresh. You know what else is fresh, Joe? Raw meat. Do you eat that too? And besides, you like your meat burnt, Joe. Forget health. One fresh coffee won't cancel out all the other garbage you're going to put in your mouth hours later. Nice and quiet. You mean unpopular. It's not that people can't find this place, Joe. It's that they'd rather go to the Starbucks over there. And besides, what coffee costs Sachono, huh? What is it, littered with gold? And two bathrooms. Huh, it's called basic hygiene, Joe. Huh, do you praise the oxygen for being there? So, let's get this straight. Who wants a nice cup of fresh coffee in a quiet place like Seoul? Huh? Huh? Do you? So, the coffee is very, very fresh. I was talking to the proprietor when I came in here, and uh, he told me that they actually buy the green beans themselves and then roast it at the roasting room you see right there. So, having tasted this, I can tell he's telling the truth because I don't think I had this kind of fresh coffee in a long time. At first, when I uh, drank it, you know, the initial taste was very welcoming. But as I was sipping it and kind of savoring in my mouth and trying to pull it down my throat, I, I, could, I thought the, maybe they lack full flavor. And then it occurred to me that that could be what I'm used to in franchise coffees because they probably burn their beans a lot. You know how some people like their samgyeops are more burnt and then you know people some people like that burnt taste and I think I have that too. So this doesn't have that. So I think it's a good thing because their whole point was to offer fresh beans as fresh coffee and it definitely achieves that. Now in terms of ambiance here, very very quiet. Me and uh, producer Mizell, as we was looking for this place and walking here, noticed that uh, it's off the main street, and overall, it's not the most po you know populated you know place in Hongdae. And if you like quiet place to enjoy and relax, this place might be the place for you. And another plus is the bathrooms. They have both male and female bathroom, which I think it's amazing for a non-franchise place. Now, price. The Americano costs 4,000 won, and the latte costs 4,500 won. 
which is pretty similar to franchise prices, but I would actually say it's worth that much money because the coffee is very, very fresh, much fresher than the ones I tasted in franchise coffees. And if you go to some place like Starbucks, you're paying that money anyway. So overall, is zombie coffee a go or a no-go? I say go, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for a quiet place to enjoy fresh coffee, zombie coffee is the place for you. If you like this video, press like, subscribe, and tell us where you want us to check out next in Coffee Soul. Ta-ta.